I'm fishing my favorite river, but way down, being that this is the lowest I've ever seen the water in my life due to a lack of rain. You can actually down it even in the floodplain. Uh, this is about five miles before it hits the Mississippi River. You can walk the banks. Uh, usually this is water all the way up to the woods. Or it, it's just amazing um, the way it looks. Super low and you can tell where the, the fish have nowhere to hide. And there's a lot of wood and cover down here. Uh, this is better for crappie. This is too far down for smallmouth. You will catch you still can get white bass and walleye, just not as many. This is more more of a crappie target area. Well, at least your reel's working. Oh yeah, got one. All right, folks, I got my first fish already. It's a, I can't tell, it's either spotted or large mouth. It's so dull because of the muddy water, it's uh, blended itself in design. What I'm using down here is a pink and chartreuse two inch. Actually trying for crappie, but it's a fish, little eight or nine inch bass. It is a spotted bass. He's definitely been caught before. His his mouth, you can tell he's been caught up in here. Oh, oh yeah oh man I finally got a gar folks finally if I could have just done this yesterday we would have had 16 kinds I finally hooked a guard I do not think he's getting off because <laughs> I I had the bandit crankbait on once again and he's got three hooks in him this time I finally got one that didn't jump off I think he's good he would have fell off by now he got on right here at the bank. Yeah. Boy. Hold on. I gotta land him first without breaking my, make sure the line don't break. Oh, remember how bad they cut your skin though? I really don't want to hold them because of that. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut some more of my line off too. It's got abrasions on it. He's about, I don't have a tape measure with me, but I'm going to say he's 18 or 19, maybe 20 inches. It is a long nose gar. I'm going to have to get the pliers, I think, to get the hook out though. Yeah. Can you get the pliers? Remember, it hurt for a whole week. I just need the plier so I can get him out in the front of the be uh, backpack. <clears throat> Not a bad fella. No, he's about 20. Don't use your bandit crankbait down here. I I can because I know how to do it without. Ah, dang it, he's about to break my lure. His teeth are wrapped up in that damn thing. No, you're not. There, now you can go, bud. All right, see you later. <laughs> yeah. All right.
we're not even to the good spot yet. All right, folks, I've landed my second gar of the day. It's on the same lure. Oh, yeah. And he's uh, doing his thing. I really don't have nowhere to bring him up. Where's my lure? Oh, my God, I don't even see my crankbait at all. No, I don't know. Oh, it's on his body. Okay. About the same. About the same size. Yeah. It looks like he tried to bite it and it ended up in his behind his mouth a little bit on his belly. Got the line wrapped around. Oh, his scales are going to cut my line if I don't watch it. I'm just going to let him get real tired. I don't want to lose this crankbait. We can't buy these up here. Same kind, long nose. Tell you what, get me the pliers and I'll just reach down. Instead of taking completely out of water, I'll just reach down and I'll just pull the hooks out over here. Down here by you. Where it's kind of flatter. Yeah, that's what I mean. That way I don't have to grab it at all. Alright folks, exactly the same size as last time, about 20, 21 inches. No, they're not. I put them back. Alright. What I'm going to do here, guys, is just take the hook out without picking a gar. The last time I picked a gar up, their scales is actually like an armor plate, and they will tear the heck out of your skin. My hand hurt for a week last time. I never noticed that before. It's just something I didn't really know, and uh, so I'm trying not to ever grab them unless I got special gloves on. Oh. Yeah, I got that one out. This one's in his fin. He might have just swam into this. I don't really know if he bit it or there he goes all right look how bad he got me just from his skin is what I was just mentioning he he started twitching real hard when I was trying to get the lure out and his skin just abrased my uh, knuckle here and that's what they can do to you he didn't get me real bad but they will cut the hell out of you I'm telling you right now You just bought that. What is that? Drum. Yeah. Drum. Uh. Oh, hold on. Oh boy. That was a real bite. I got something nice. Come on. Bit it just a minute ago and then I don't know what happened to it. Yeah. Oh. Well, no. I had a bite. I had to.
Oh, you bit it again. I'll just keep the pliers in my pocket till we pull them away. <laughs> the worst of the worst. Uh, biting right now. She's got something big down there. I don't know what it is for sure yet. I'm letting him take it a while. I'm letting him swallow it. Man! He's still pulling it. I'm just letting him. Gar, you gotta let it take the hook a little longer than regular fish. And nope, I missed mine. I'm coming. And that's a big one. No, that's a drum. What? Carp? Oh my god, it is. That's a monster. Oh, is it? You got it where he can pull it out? That's a bowfin. Good job, your first bowfin. Boy, you've gotten a lot of... You got your first carp yesterday, and now you got your first bowfin. Let him get tired. Let him get tired. Just let him get tired. That's a nice bowfin. Good job, hon. Even if he gets off, we got to see it at least. Your very first bowfin. Boy, you've just got to do a lot this week. <laughs> Vacation. You got your biggest channel cat a week ago and your first blue cat. Then you got your first carp and your biggest buffalo. And now your first bowfin. And I can't grab him either. Uh, oh, boy. See, they're down here. Don't, don't pull. No, I, I, don't, don't, don't. Leave it alone. Don't do that. You'll break your line. Too much tension on it. I want to put in here. Just be careful. I know. Careful. Uh, all right, folks. She just got her very first spoke fan ever. He's a good, I would say he's seven pounds just by judging, maybe eight. I'm going to get him off with the pliers. God. <laughs> Nasty. It does no good to wash my hands, but can you pull the pliers out of this pocket? So I don't get that slime and stuff inside my jeans at least. I'm going to get it all over the damn pliers though. Did that hook really good? Yeah. <sighs> the hook is on up and down. And you want to hold it for a photo? I... Her very first bowfin, folks. It's a pretty beast, pretty, pretty big oh one. God. She caught it on a she caught it on a Fire Tiger Bomber Crankbait Model A like this. Bomber Model A. All right, let me stand over here. Oh, boy. And let me go wash my hands and then, yeah, let me wash my hands so I can touch my camera so I can zoom. It's gonna, you're gonna have to give me a minute. Just hold on, I can't touch my camera like this. At least you got your first, your very first bowfin. It was a big one. I knew they were down here. I've caught them before. Okay. I'll come up and then I can take my camera off my head and zoom in on you. All right, folks. She just got her very first bowfin. It's not a small guy. It's about, like I said, it's at least, I'm going to say five or six pounds. That's awesome, honey. Caught it on a lure. I had a gar on and I seen her pole bent down here. And I thought she was snagged. I was like, oh no, here goes that four, five dollar lure she's going to lose. And then it was, I noticed it was pulling, so I had to run down here. That's awesome. That's your very first bowfin.
you've got in two days you've got to do better fishing than you have in the last year yeah all right we'll put her back yeah and things are vicious fighters ain't they he'll be all right they're they're one of the toughest toughest fish trust me he he after see he's already back to normal <laughs> Man, good job. Goodness. Yeah, they stir up the place. Isn't it? It's not a gar, it would have jumped by now. What could this be? I just said I'm not getting anything on the green worm and then I threw it and get a fish. The very next cast. It could be a gar, I guess. It hasn't jumped yet. It's not acting like a gar. It's a gar. Sure wasn't acting like it because he never he didn't come to the top. This one's a little bit bigger than the last one. This one's about 24 inches. <laughs> Alright, I guess today is gar mania, folks. Gar mania drum and both in so far and two bass <laughs> it's weird because right before i hooked him i was casting this green twister tail over and over about 30 throws and i said i'm about to i said this thing ain't working and uh and then he bit the very next cast so a little bit bigger he's mid-20s Trying to let him tire down. This is the first gar I've had in a long time that didn't come to the top when you're in the middle of reeling them in and, and jumping, jump out of the water like largemouths do. That's why I didn't know what I had until almost the very end. We finally seen him. Uh, did I put the pliers away? I think I did. I don't know where they're at. Do you got the plier? No, I got them. Never mind. What I'm going to do is uh, just take the pliers out close to the water. I'm not picking this up and risking getting another thing on my hand where he damage it. Oh, he's a big one compared to the other two. He's about, he's in the mid-20s. I'd say 23, 24 inches. I'm going to pull him up some with the pliers so and get a better look at him. Not a bad looking gar though. Talk about barely having him. I don't see how he didn't get off. Ah. Boy, I had his mouth open just perfect to be able to get him. Boy, it's in there way worse than I thought anyway. Back in there, buddy. And off she goes. That's gar number three today. And I got one spotted bass. And then she's caught the, the big bow in and a drum. Once in a while I get lucky. I got the pliers put away. Let me do one more cast and then we'll go. I wanna go 
get a soda and get to that look at that other spot see if we nice. go there yeah I'm coming uh, we're gonna go ahead and go after this all right folks we just got our fourth gar and it looks like me and her are about tied yeah mine was a little longer than yours about two inches longer that's about 22 inches though be careful for your hands god that's gonna cut the hell out of you them things ain't no joke when it comes to that that armor plate they have will cut your hands all up and it'll hurt for a whole week I hold it. it's really bad i hope that Okay. All right, we're gonna. That's about another. It's about a 22 incher, another long nose gar. We actually have four types of gar around here, but we seem to always get the same ones. Long nose are the most common. We also have short nose, spotted, and alligator. Um, alligator being the hardest to find. They're not very typical in Missouri, but there is a few. Uh, they're mainly south of Missouri, uh, Texas, Arkansas. Um, I've caught some spotted bass around here quite a bit. Alright, we're going to head out guys and go to a different place. Alright folks, I just caught another one. Caught him on a twister tail. And I don't understand it, this is the way he came in. I guess he just gave up on life and wanted to die. I think it's an Asian carp, the way it looks like. He didn't give much of a fight either. He just kind of let me reel him in. I don't know. He doesn't even look hungry. All right. Oh, that's weird. I wouldn't touch that. It might be poisonous. Some kind of weird fungus. Uh-uh. All right, folks, he's got his first fish. I think he's got a small mouth. He's got a small mouth. Oh, I got something too when I was turned around. <laughs> I wasn't even looking. I was reeling it in and looking at you. <laughs> I caught a little aquarium sized spotted bass. He's got a pretty decent small mouth. Looks like it's about 11 inches or so, 10 or 11. Yeah, right around there. Nice this is my Ooh, yeah. friend John. Me and him was uh, in the military together and found out we grew up close to each other about an hour from, or about 40 minutes from each other. And we've been friends ever since. Oh no. Ooh. I like this crawdad the way it looks. It just looks like it's going to work. I haven't caught nothing on it yet. I haven't. This is the first time I used the yellow one. These are from China, 87 cents a piece, but it takes a month to get them in the mail. Yeah. But still. You caught that one bass just a second ago. Yeah. That's true. It's a sign it's working, I guess. Well, there are some large boulders in here. All right, folks. It is a quarter to six. The sun has finally. You got one. Oh, he's, and the sun has finally went behind the trees. We're hoping the walleye and sauger come out to play, and the white bass. So far, we've really caught nothing except that smallmouth and spotted bass. Oh, he's got one. That's a nice bass. <laughs> oh, I didn't see. I, I knew you was hung up, but I didn't know you had to fish at first. That's a spotted bass. Yeah, that's a good, nice one, though. Heck yeah. All right, John's got fish number three or four. They're starting to bite. That wind's blowing just right, about 15 mile an hour. Out of this river, my entire life I've fished it, I've never caught a crappie over 12. Down there, I, out of the Black River, I get 14s and 15s. They're just so much bigger down there. Oh, Gar. Oh, oh, man. Oh, he got it. He's got it. <laughs> oh, 
oh that was awesome it's like he came up snapped at it and i was like wait for it wait for it because <laughs> i knew he was going to attack it again all right folks i got another this is my fifth long nose of the day i think this might be my biggest no second biggest he's in his mid 20s about 24 25 inches long maybe not that long yeah it's pretty long caught five gar today all of them have been the same they're all long, long nose even though we got four different kinds These spots are really nice. yeah man <laughs> see i didn't know till a couple weeks ago when you grab them them scales can cut the hell out of your hands because it's like an armor yeah. it hurt my hand hurt for a whole week so I don't touch them no more unless I got special gloves or something. Uh. <laughs> God, no, you ain't get. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. It looks like. Will you come here, Mr. Gar? You know our eggs are toxic too. Huh? No, I have heard that. Yeah. Boy, this video is. On that. Like caviar, eat ca gar caviar. He got one of the hooks back in him. I had out. No, he didn't. The problem is I got to turn him upside down, and that's what he's not liking. Okay, on in and I'll... Yeah, there. There you go. All right, folks. Gar number five for the day. That seems to be. I guess today is Gar Mania Monday. We'll measure him out. Oh, I ain't got. I ain't got one. And that's. Oh, your feet are two. 12? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's one, two, and about, about three inches. 27? Yeah. About 27 inches. Just give him a little bit of scoop. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about picking him up. That was a good bit fight there, though. <laughs> hey, I'm happy with it. I guess the crawdad worked. At least for them. Check your line out. Yeah. With our teeth. Yeah, you know, I'm starting to think this is a uh, fluorocarbon by the way it acts, because it don't get nicks like the regular line does. It just, but what it does, it gets stuck when it stretches a lot. It's, it'll curl a lot of the like for three feet. It'll get real curly. And what I'll do, I'll cut four or five feet off. Oh. No. Oh. Four of them. White bass? Yep. Let me make sure it ain't a hybrid. Yeah, it's a white bass. Hmm. There's like four of them that went after it. Really? All right, we're in the white bass now, folks. <coughs> okay, I just seen her lure cast. <laughs> I almost stepped on a snake coming down here. Oh. There's a uh, garden snake. Oh, yeah. There we like, go. I got like something. It, it feels like not a spotted bass for once. I don't know what I got here. It's a sauger. Yes. Yes. Amen. Little guy. He's about 12 inches, but it's a sauger. Sure as hell. You can definitely tell the difference. Once you learn them, it's definitely not a walleye. <laughs> All right, folks, we finally got a sauger for the day. What I came for. It just needs to be about three times as big. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same one as yesterday. Exact same size. He might not even be. Yeah, he's right at 12 inches. One of my favorite fish, though, nonetheless. Vicious piranha-like creatures but they're in Missouri all right we're gonna put him back that way they're here every time 
All right, let's see if we can get some more. We got about 20 good minutes before we can quit seeing. So usually what happens <coughs> is they bite. Once you get one, you can get two or three real quick. Not all the time, but a lot of times. <coughs> Carp. Huh? Oh. What else did you catch? Sauger. You caught a sauger? Yeah. On what? The green worm? No, the... <coughs> crawdad? The crawdad? Mm -hmm. How big was he? He's a bit of... Oh, you got it. She caught a sauger. And then catfish number two. Well, it's no, he's in there so. Oh, there we go. <coughs> We're just going to stay 15, 20 minutes at the most. Okay. I'll go back over there. So, you could, how big's the sauger, you think? Really? That big? So he's like 16 or 17 inches. If you're, unless you're exaggerating. <laughs> he is four foot long. Yeah. You got it in what? The bucket? Huh? Oh, the cooler. <clears throat> oh. Oh, man. John just got him a gar for the day. Boy, if that would have just been what we thought it was at yeah. first, <laughs> that would have been a slain record. Nice gar. You're definitely going to want the pliers, ain't you? It's a nice gar. He's about 20 inches or something. Yeah. Lower 20. <clears throat> if nothing else bit today, the gar definitely cooperated. They were biting way better yesterday. They were going absolutely crazy. And I was walking back and forth 50 times. I'd come down here, then I'd get my dang twister tail snagged. Have to walk back over because I had all my tackle over there. It just seemed like, I said, I don't know how I'm not scaring them. She's only caught two saugers now. She caught one in, on Memorial Weekend huh. uh, out of a ditch. A yeah. <coughs> out of Cane Creek Ditch in Neelyville. Yep, these are right there. You should pull right out to you. Perfect. Oh! <laughs> Your tooth. He's tough though. They're tough. They're the toughest ones. Yep. All right. We're gonna let him go because we can't kill them all. Might as well just give up and throw him in. We kill one. If we kill one, they might get revenge by putting a thousand of them in here. <laughs> <laughs> that year we had the drought in 2012. That was the worst I ever seen it. Yeah. As far as gar, they would. We'd come down here and see. 50 of them swimming 